Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. I am gonna be talking today about the holiday collection from NARS. I haven't done a lot of videos on NARS and it's not because I don't like the brand, it's just that I've got so many other brands that I've been kind of talking about on my channel that I haven't really focused on it. So I thought today would be a really good opportunity to talk about their new holiday collection. So I have a full face of NARS on at the moment. So if you have dry skin like myself and anyone asks you what is the best sheer foundation, I would have to talk about this product. This is the NARS Sheer Glow foundation which has been a staple in sort of my foundation for many many years and the reason I love this is because it gives a gorgeous glow to my skin and gives me coverage but not necessarily too full on but still really gives my skin that even finish and I absolutely love it. I also wanted to recommend the Tinted Glow Booster. I have loved using this as well alongside my foundation. So what I generally do is I mix the two together and then it gives me this gorgeous glow. And I also use their concealer and this is their biggest selling concealer and it's the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And this is in Medium Dark One Biscuit. My foundation color is Medium Dark One Syracuse. And I also got the medium dark in tangsy and these are the ones I kind of go to if I want that sort of NARS kind of glow. An honorary mention and one I wanted to talk to you about as well is the new light reflecting foundation from NARS. I think I did a review on this on my channel but it's also a fantastic foundation if you're having a really good skin day and you want something fairly light. It's not the same as sheer glow, I'd say it's a lighter coverage but it's fantastic so those are my honorary kind of NARS foundation mentions since I have it on already. I've also put some concealer on my eyelids because I really want these eyeshadows to pop so I have some brow on as well. Let's talk NARS. So what I've got are three other pieces. So I have the Stargaze eyeshadow palette. I also have the Rising Star cheek palette and I have the lip product which is the Audacious Lipstick in Ava. So I'm going to quickly show you these up close. I'm going to do some arm swatches and then we're going to do a look together. So let's start with the first one. This is their Stargaze eyeshadow palette and it's for the holidays. I really love the colour scheme, especially for my skin tone. Let's take a look. This is what it looks like. You've got these gorgeous stars going across here and it's got NARS written across. Packaging is really, really nice. This is the colour story. I don't think the camera picks it up that well, but the one colour that sort of really stands out to me is this purple colour. It's a really lovely pastel colour that I think will pop on my skin. There are also other formulas around there, but I think a couple of these are matte shades, a couple of satin shades and sort of metallic shades. The colours are written on the back. Hayworth, Go Deep, Double Trouble, Heartbreak, Lost Phyllis, Swoon, Hollywood Lover, Instant Stardom, Headliner, Nouvelle Vague, lights out and walk of fame now the way this is written it's really hard to tell which one is which but i will try to decipher them for you as you can see you have 12 colors if you look across down here as well these colors are really wearable and what i love about that is this is going to really pop and show on my skin so those are my sort of hopes, purely because the colours are deep and rich, which I love about this palette. We're going to try and swatch these now, and then we're going to do a look. So let's take this colour first, and we're just going to do some arm swatches. We're going to go across, across, and across. So we'll start here. So that's the first two rows. Oh, 
Okay, so let's move on to the bottom row. And that's the bottom row. So now we're going to move on to the cheek palette. Now this is called Rising Star, but this is part of their holiday collection. And there are six colors here. This is an 18 month shelf life. And that's got the gorgeous stars again, like before. And then these are the colors when you open it up. And you can see that they are all really wearable colors for my skin tone. Definitely excited about these three colors here, which are quite strong. And I think you could probably use the others as more highlighter shades, just because they're a bit lighter in color. This one looks more orange in the pan. If I move back a bit, you can see this is definitely more orange and corally. So yeah, let's see how these fare, but these are a lot lighter. So excited about this. I can see that it's more of a hard pan. So I'm going to try a different brush to get this to appear on my cheeks. So the first thing we're gonna do is some arm swatches and we're going to take the top rows. You've got Guilty Pleasure, Limelight, Famous, Paramount, Golden Age and Premiere. Gorgeous shade names. So what we're gonna do is just go across like that as I swatch. So let's start with the first shade here. And then the second shade. And then the third shade. And then the fourth shade. And then this sort of corally orange shade. And then finally this darker shade here in the corner. So these are all the cheek palette shades. So finally, the last thing that I picked up was the Audacious lipstick in the shade Ava. Loved this shade. I thought it was quite interesting and I loved the actual packaging. They are really, really good NARS when it comes to their packaging. Let's take a look at this shade. What I love is not only is the shade gorgeous, but look at the stars around this. It's so well done. Reminds me of Dior, when Dior do that sort of embossing on their lipsticks, but gorgeous. So this is the shade Ava. Isn't that stunning? And then you see the NARS written across there. So I'm just going to do a hand swatch for you now. I can see that's going to look stunning, beautiful.
So I have just gone away and I've added some mascara. I've added some liner as well to kind of really highlight the look. And I'm now gonna add the lipstick. I've just lined my lips with some liner and I'm gonna add the lipstick in now. Okay, so this is the finished look and you know what? I completely forgot how much I love NARS makeup. I used to use NARS quite a fair bit when I was a makeup artist because the colours were so pigmented and they always were very striking on camera, whether you were filming or whether you were doing still photography or editorial work. I feel as though NARS has that editorial edge when it comes to pigmentation and colour. In fact, it reminds me very much of Pat McGrath because Pat obviously uses her stuff on the runway. I can see why NARS has had such a following for such a large number of years and why makeup artists love NARS makeup. With regards to this collection, I obviously haven't tried every single colour but I wanted to show you the look that I would go for using this palette if I wanted to do something a little bit different. You could see that the other shades are going to be quite wearable on my skin tone. I think if you're a medium or a darker skin tone you are going to love this holiday collection purely because the colours have a lot of punch to it. I am really excited to explore some looks with the more neutral shades, the browns and the sort of the reddish colours but I really wanted to demonstrate today how I would use it as a kind of purple look. I think that the pigmentation is absolutely amazing. They blended really well into each other, there was no fallout, nothing that I needed to correct. I wasn't worried about having to kind of go back in and sort out anything. So the cheek palette surprised me actually the most because when I swatched it in store, I used my fingers and I was sort of rubbing it into my skin and I wasn't sure whether it was going to show on my skin tone, but actually with the correct brush, so I used two brushes, thought I would let you know the two that really worked for me. One was from the Sonia G Sky series and this was her smooth buffer brush. It worked really well to get the colour out and the thing about these, because they're a little bit more harder in the pan, you do have to work with a brush that has a little bit of resistance because if you use like a really fluffy brush not a lot is going to come off onto your brush and onto your cheeks so I would look for brushes that are similar to this where there's a little bit of resistance you can get the colour to pick up better from the pan. The other one that I tried was also from her new Fusion series brush and this is the classic base brush. This is in fact used normally for foundation but because there's a little bit of resistance there it picked up the colour really well. My final verdict is I love what I've achieved with this collection. The lipstick is gorgeous as well. It's a really easy colour to wear because the palette itself has a lot of neutrals, has a few pops of purple, but actually with the purple, the lipstick goes really, really well. And with neutrals, this is gonna look beautiful together anyway. I was actually really excited with this collection. It's really lovely to go back and step back to NARS again because I think as a brand they are fantastic. In terms of this collection, I am really, really impressed and I'm so glad I picked it up. I think that these colours are going to look gorgeous on both skin tones, but especially medium to dark skin tones. Definitely would recommend it. And as you can see, it created a gorgeous, gorgeous look. Didn't take much time at all. And I think it's a great holiday launch. So a great thing to pick up as a gift as well for someone. Coming up to Christmas, it's gonna be that time where you're gonna be looking for gifts. So 
definitely would recommend either the cheek palette, the eyeshadow, or even the lipstick. You can't go wrong. So I hope that's helped. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.